A brazen kidnapping attempt in Vancouver. Tonight, police say they're looking for the man who tried to take an 11-year-old girl at Lisa Crest Park this weekend. K2 Shelby Slaughter joins us live from the park now. It's a couple blocks off East Mill Plain Boulevard. Shelby, what's the latest? Well, right, police are looking at all possible leads here. One key aspect is home video cameras. After the suspect was intervened, he drove off, and police are hoping that someone's house cameras caught more. Take a good look at your screens. The video shows the before and after of a man trying to take an 11-year-old girl here at this park. It's very unsettling for um, everyone involved and for our community. Sergeant Julie Ballou with the Vancouver Police Department says her team is actively working on this case. She says the man pulled up on Sunday afternoon and tried to grab the girl before someone else stepped in. She was just screaming, get away from me, I don't know you, get away from me. And that Samaritan, a neighbor who wants to remain anonymous, says she was at the right place at the right time. I heard some screaming coming from the park and I thought that a girl was hurt almost, so I stopped what I was doing and kind of walked towards the end of my driveway and listened a little bit more to see if this screaming continued, which it did. That's when she says she called 911 and ran towards the man. And it all just happened so fast that I almost thought that I wasn't really witnessing what, you know, a real kidnapping almost take place. Right now, Sergeant Ballou tells me people who live in the area should keep their guard up, especially until this man is found. Having a stranger try to um, snatch a child out of a park or off the street is extremely rare. So we are encouraging the community to take those precautions with your children. Um, we live in a Anyone with information is urged to contact the Vancouver police. Once we know any more information, we'll bring it here to you. Reporting live in Vancouver, I'm Shelby Slaughter, K2 News.